Hey, this is Roy from Cloud9 Classics here in Alpharetta, Georgia. I'm inside the showroom checking out a really cool 1973 Ford Bronco. This is an original Ranger package Bronco and it's got lots of patina. We believe it's got about 80% of its original paint and it looks super cool. This is one you get in, drive and enjoy. Not worry about the paint, it's got a few blemishes here and there, but it's a rust free, super solid, fantastic driving Bronco. Give you a quick walk around here. As you can see, what they've done is they've actually um, clear coated over the original finish in most parts of the body, which gives it a little bit of a shine and it does shine up nice. But again, rust free, super solid body. This is an original Florida truck, uh, came out of the Jacksonville DSO and believe it was lived in Florida, if not all of its life, most of its life. Bumpers have been replaced, they're in great condition. Some of your trim has been replaced and it's in great condition. As you can see, we left the uh, original spare. Again, adds to the patina. The hard top itself is in great condition. Really nice body lines. Door shut really well. You can see the uh, rear fenders were cut. Fender flares were added. And it does still have some of the original Ranger styling um, striping on it so you know you've got some patina where your arms would rest here on both sides up on the top surfaces of the hood and fenders you've got a few uh, aged bruised spots uh, both of these evidently occurred when the uh, grandfather an owner uh, was was teaching his grandson to drive and it didn't go as well as he had hoped so that's evidently where these battle wounds came from. So you got a little indentation here on the passenger front fender, and you also have an indentation on the front uh, grill. But nothing to take away from the, uh, the cool factor of this original Patina Bronco. Now under the hood is an amazing running, super strong 302 that was rebuilt, automatic transmission rebuilt, power steering, power front disc brakes, so it's a really user-friendly Bronco, and it's stock height, which means it tracks down the road really nice. It doesn't have the bump steer uh, or the sloppiness that you get out of some of the big lifted Broncos. It's got a cool set of wheels, sort of a slotted mag style wheels. Great set of uh, BF Goodrich uh, all-terrain TAs. Uh, I believe it's about a 31 inch height on these tires. Interior, original houndstooth, Ginger houndstooth interior looks fantastic. Original door panels. These things are hard to find. And in this condition, original rear seat. Now they did replace the floor pans and they did it really well. And when they finished it off, they did a rhino lining in the body color here in the interior floor pans. So throughout the inside of this Bronco, you'll see that. But again, it's a fantastic running and driving Bronco. I want to let you hear it start up and running. Fires right up. Again, it's an automatic. That's your four-wheel drive shifter. Original radio does not work. Let you hear it running. It's got new exhaust running. There you go. If you've been in the market for a really cool Bronco and you like the patina look, this one is one you really do not want to miss out on. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Thanks very much and good luck.